So here we are. Na araw mo dia. I want to go ana nga to check if na araw mo dia. Pasin naglab ba na mo kay sa badura baron or sa ba? Okay. So here uh, we will be ko ana uh, proceeding no to the ER diagram or the entity relationship diagram model. So kani. Uh, this is one of the core, you know, one of the core uh, topics uh, in which you should be co-anjun. You should be expert na or dapat ma familiar lang yun yun yun. Okay, when we say ER diagram, ang good, this will be part na good sooner or later sa inyong mga uh, upcoming courses, especially if you will do your own research or uh, studies in terms of kuan na good uh, application development. And you need paperwork man said to to show something out from the system nga it's following a certain rules or it's following a certain flow of how did you uh, utilize or allowed your data to be flowed accordingly. So here, what's ERD by the way? So what is ER diagram? So ER, uh, it stands for Entity Relationship. Entity relationship is also known as ERD, uh, a diagram that displays uh, the relationship of entity set stored in a database. So here, I want to go on. I want to exactly show you no, uh, what's the physical form of the database. What's the database all about? So okay, I will be preparing here. Uh, I will be since some of you have already installed some naman. So tara. Mag open lang sa sum and then um, and then <clears throat> nani mo gawas. Let's ko ano lang. Once you start the katong sum control panel, uh, uh, one one two things that you should be starting will be the Apache and the kani MySQL. And there's two way to access the sum control uh, the sum dashboard. So it's either you click this one. My SQL admin, and it would redirect you to this, uh, to the browser, sa imong default browser. But wait, or you could go directly na lang to one two seven, one two seven point zero point zero point one slash php my admin then slash so be familiar lang so one two seven point zero point zero point one dash php my admin php my admin tapos slash na sad so kana ang inyong buhaton na ni is uh, you will be kwan redirected uh, directly sa inyong sa kani eh. kay once dito niyo yung start is diligent niya mo redirect bisag asa or maunsa ba wait sa uh, okay. Oh wait. No, no, put all packet. So share tara. So yes, this will be the kuan again. You need to kuan You need to familiarize this place because this will be your. This is the. I. This is where you will be navigating. You will be creating your databases. So kane ah uh, be familiar lang ta. So these are the kuan the options that we have here. So the databases, uh, SQL, or the structured query language that you will be creating, import, export, settings, and nai daghandar nga we can use to navigate. But first things first, no. Uh, what we are what we are gonna be doing first is we need to create first our database. So how to create our own database is na araw na dere kan eh. Maklaro sa maklaro ra sa inyong screen dili. Nara mo yung nakita sa inyo screen? Wala. So, may nakita ninyo di habi. The... Kanino? PHP my admin. So, yes. Ari mo sa koan. Naaman dyan na dere. If wala ni dere mo exist, kaya ari mo sa databases. And then, uh, you can just create database right away from here. So, uh, databases. And then, create mo yun yung hang first database. Ino na to. Uh, sample or... Testing DB or testing database. 
Interesting DB. And then, ang kana siya, i-default lang na siya kaning UTF-8 MB4 underscore general uh, CI. So, default na na siya. And then, create. And then, automatically, you are now directed to your first database, which is kaning testing DB na to. And here, wala pa dyan niya siya sud sa structure, SQL, wala pa kay. Wala pa man na to siya create yung table. And we are going to talk about that later. So right now is, ato lang sana siyang i-assist nga nakakreate na taog database na to. The first database. And going back here, so mo to siya, uh, also known as ERD diagram that displays the relationship of entity sets stored, uh, stored in a database. And it helps to explain the logical structure of database. So as I have told you, Ivana, we have two uh, form the logical and then the physical form when we say logical form is the one that you design uh, the one that you created a relationship with the one you identify the cardinality and whether uh, in these terms uh kaninga mga cardinality nga terms is ato sa ning discussion but here uh, let's focus on sa what is ERD and uh, diagrams are created based on three basic concepts. The three basic concepts, which are the entities, the attributes, and the relationship between these entities, or between the entities. Okay, and then at first look, an ER diagram looks very similar to a flowchart. Yes, it's, we cannot go on that, kay, uh, same with flowchart na manggihapon siya relationship. But ERD, it includes many specialized symbols and its meanings makes this model unique. So once you created the ER model uh, ERD, what will it look like? So it would look like this. Uh, the purpose of ERD is to represent an entity framework infrastructure. So can you? Uh, as you see, diba, we have uh, boxes here and then say for example, can the apparel size will be our entity and then the size ID, the size code, sort order will be our attributes. And these lines here will be the will be the relationship between these entities. And you see kaneng morag na ay kamut kamut, this will be the cardinalities. So it's better nga you will be able to picture out lang sa uh, what are these things? So this is a basic example of a entity relationship diagram. So you have the entity, the whole entity, the attributes of that certain entity, the relationship of the entity, the cardinality of the entity. So I hope it's very clear. Let me have this highlighter. So this whole box will be your entity and this is the entity name. Kani entity name ni sila. And we kani si ya will be the attributes. This will be the attributes kani sila. This will be the attributes and this one will be the relationship. Kaning line will be the relationship of the entities that we have here. And this and this kani 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 mga these symbols will be the will be the cardinality so remember when we say blue this is the cardinality cardinality uh the yellow one will be the entity 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 and the green one that's our attributes 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 and the blue and the uh, uh the the red one the red one will be the relationship the relationship Okay, be familiar with that. And then here, ER model stands for Entity Relationship Model. So, if not ER diagram, this is not the ERD model. So, this model is the same as the diagram. So, it's a high level conceptual da uh, data model diagram uh, to systematically analyze data requirements to produce a well designed database. Uh, 
Uh, and then, creating AR model in database is considered as best practice before implementing. So this is one thing. Before you implement as much as possible, you need to create your own ERD model first because that, in that way, you would know na ba, uh, during execution na what to do and what how to connect them from one another. The other one is ER modeling helps you to analyze data requirements systematically to produce a well-designed database. So it is considered a best practice to complete ER modeling before implementing your database. So, okay, uh, let's look back a bit of the history. So it's a visual tool to, is helpful to represent ER model. And it was prepared by, uh, it was proposed by Peter Chen or Peter, Peter Chen in 1971 to create a uniform convention which can be used for relational database and network. So for RDM, RDBMS, Nisiya. he aimed to use ER model as a conceptual modeling approach. So it's the ER model ang iyahang gibasihan. And then... Here are the reason why we use diagrams or ER diagrams. It helps you to define terms related to entity, relationship, and modeling. And in that way, it makes it easier for you, uh, especially na, no, during uh, programming na ganun, no, na how to navigate and how to manipulate this data. And it provides a preview of how all your tables should be connect or should connect and what fields are going to be on each table. It also helps to describe entities, attributes, and relationships. Uh, the database designer gains a better understanding of information to be contained in the database with the help of ER diagram and then allows you to communicate with the logical structure of the database user. Because this is one uh, main point no, ng anong mag-create og ERD model because you see mga clients nato or mga DBA mga database administrator administrator would know can read a logical form. But ni kaabot na sa client kay uh, dili man na sila makakita sa codes ngon sa kamo giunsa man niya pag connect ang mga data, giunsa man niya pag, pag uniform or pag design ang database nato or atong mga entity diagram. Ang uh, codes ra man eh, wala man tayo nakita during a logical form. So, mag-create a ER diagram because it will serve as a blueprint for the clients and for the future users of the system nga gibuhat na to. So, and then, another fact. So, ER models allows you to draw database design. Uh, widely used in database design, logical representation. It helps you to identify the entity which exists in the system and the region between those entities. So, and okay, let's jump na lang no into the notations and symbols nga tong gamiton para makahan sa onata. So here, uh, the following are the main components on symbols of VR diagram. So rectangles. So when we say rectangles, this entity relation is. Uh, the entity type. So as you see, katong ganina, wasa uh, to, katong kani. So ang rectangle diri will be the entity, uh, and then tara di eh. And our ellipsis, uh, it represents the attributes. So here, attribute is uh, tara, entity. Relationship would be same ratio sa flowchart no nga naka diamond and so process of flowchart kay entity de siya and as a weak entity so we will be defined what is weak entity and what is a normal entity. Mo motivated attribute so kaninga mga symbols is common uh, rarely used na manis sila karon kay a DBA would easily understand what does a symbol mean sa atong database and then. And here, so the components of ER diagram. So this model is based on three basic concepts. So as we say, the entities, attributes, and relationships. So when we say entity, it's it's a person, it's a place, and it's an object, event, or a conceptual about which data is uh, is to be maintained. So say for example, a car, a student, uh, chapa. Uh, department, say, yun nga na, uh, mga entity na to, and attributes 
would be a property or characteristic of entity. So, for example, the color of the car, name of the student entity. So, if I were to give you uh, an example of entity, or if you were to give me an example of an entity, except from student or kaning mga example na to, what can you think when we say entity? Based from its definition, gaya ko gusto ka entity. Anyone? Except from scar and student, gaya ko entity. Hoy. Ansa? Uh, yes. Employee. Okay, employee is an entity. Karon, when we say employee, this will be the entity. What will be its attributes? So, unsa yung pinaka best attribute? Salary. Tumbos. Total work hours. Unsa pa? So, work hours. Unsa may mga pinaka importante dahil nga attribute sa employee? Siyempre, we need the... Uy... We need the name of the employee, the the position, uh, department. So, kani nga mga butang is uh, later on we would also identify. Nga, say for example, this is an employee, and na si attributes. But in some cases, department can also be an attribute. So in that way, we can now create another attribute. Basing, I uh, we can now create another entity based on a certain criteria, mga god. So most probably is that we would know na, okay, si position po hindi sanin nato siya himuong entity, si department po hindi sanin nato siya himuong entity, uh, si name po hindi sanin na himuong entity, si I si name dili na dyan po hindi ma entity. That's only an attribute na god. So yung ano, uh, later on we would know how to identify that as well. But karon focus lang sa tano. Uh, the difference between entity and an attribute. So when we say entity, entity is a concept or a person, place, object, event about which data is to be maintained. And when we say attribute, it's a property or characteristic of an entity. So it's a characteristic of an entity. So it's something that describes an entity. It's something that is uh, uh, that is uh, uh, defining an entity. So when I say entity, uh, when I say entity nga, uh, sa so pa may mga known nga entity, customer. Entity nga customer, what would be its attribute? B. Aside from Merlin, kinsa pa may tao dere? Wala na. Wa. Yes, the name. Aside from name, age. Uh, address, the gender, can you know? And then, okay, uh, when we say logical form, mo ni siya, the entity ang tawag niya. But niya to na sa physical form, that's what we call table name. So, and that brings us into how to create your first table sa atong database. So, how to create the first table na to? Uh, dire. Ganina na create naman tag database atong gipanganlan as testing db karon is ato siyang createan og first nga table so kani nga table ato siyang panganlan as table employee uh, pila ka columns kani pila ang pasabot ani pila ka columns is pila ka attributes ang atong i-consider so ino na to uh, we have the employee id we have the a uh, name address uh, status kana lang lima and then go and then in this part this is where you will be defining your attributes or the certain column names so say for example this is the employee and then table name employee so in another amp id so i want you to remind i want to remind you so sa entity or sa logical form wala ra jud problema nga moingon ta diri og employee employee id 
wala rin dun na siya problema. Mayroon ko tadi first name. Uh, last name. Wala rin dun na siya problema. Gender. Uh, and then, address. Ang problema lang is, nagkaabot dari. Remember, when you create a table name, or when you create a column name, I mean, or an attribute name, you need to strictly follow on how to create a variable. Unsagal ito yung rule on creating identifier. Naatay rule, Ana, if you remember. It must not begin with a number. Wala space or no special characters except underscore. Uh, wala man tayong mga existing nga mga kuandari nga mga uh, keyword. So, it's not really a problem. But, kando lang. So, and one thing that I would be suggesting you before you create your column name is make sure nga it's something related to the data nga inyong isudi ha. Same ani nga, ang mga data nga isunod ninyo dire is name nga inyong gipangalan ng MPID. So, that's far from how it is supposed to be. So, yan na, MPID. In my case nyo is, I always include yun. Uh, in naming convention lang, it's not really a standard way or it's not really uh, something that you really need to do. But it's a conventional nga pamaagi in which it also allows you to easily understand your own table nga by sooner or later, mga you would be creating a lot of table. I and mean, in sa kadaghan nga table nga inyong buhaton is tendency there is uh, some of the data or some of the cells sa inyong table is makalimutan ninyo kung para asa siya nga table. Especially, nika-create na nato sa atong query. Uh, mag, kung ano mataroon, mag-create a simple query that would allow us to insert a data sa atong table. So, kana nga time is, we need something man to hold on to na we know nga this certain data is for this certain table. So, in that case is, since this is a table employee, I would always include emp so that I would know nga this certain column name is, uh, is uh, it belongs into the employee table. So, inga na lang kung customer, butangan na nako cus underscore what would be the name of the attribute. So, inga na lang, emp underscore name and then m age m address and then m contact and then you need to define uh, you need to define your uh, data type in each koan attribute there is a database sa program uh, as in yung ER diagram, it's also uh, necessary that you identify no, uh, what would be the type of this. Especially kung kamoy mo develop, you need to identify the data type of each value. So in this case, employee ID, what do you think will be the best data type ane, kung mag Java ta? What would be the best data type? Uh, sa kanin, sa employee ID. Remember nga mag-create sa Java. Unsa may mga data type sa Java? String, int, double, float, di ba? Kanang top four. Kani, so employee ID, what do you think will be the best uh, data type ani karon? Double? Ganahan kag ID nga na i point. <laughs> Yung ID kay 10.1. <laughs> Uh, huh? Kung mag-string mo, that's fine. But in this case kay ang ako example lang sa ninyo ha kay oh, int lang sa ta. ID number lang sa inyo focus. Ayaw lang sa mo pag-string kay basin basin mag-ID mo pina SCC ba? SCC dash then date. Maglisod pa jud concatenation. So let's just assume lang si ha. Unsa to? Unsa na limit? Oh, muna, ito nang i-define dere. Int, then pila ka buok. Yun na to, 20. And then, dere, sa first name, kung sa'yo pinakakuha ni, appropriate. So, string. Mm, but, okay, ito nang i-discuss later. So, karon pila man na mga kuan, pila yung bana-bana ninyo. Sa so, first name, yun na to. 
some people mang gano as ah, ano, ha ato sa identify ang mga data type gender that's a string and then uh, and then address kay string gihapon na and then wala day address age di ay uh, name na lang ni dito so and then kani kay wala na ni last name but rather it's atong gigamit man kay age so age alisan na to siya age age and then sa gender wala gender this is address and then kinalasan is contact eh uh, contact ang contact unsa gamiton ang contact unsa gamiton string lagi Sige, balik-balik na ko ni ninyo ha. Kung contact number. Dili man na nato siya. I-calculate good. I-calculate din na natong contact number. Diba? That's for display radiod. Dili man na nato siya butangan. I-plus din na natong contact number. Dili man. So, that's for display radiod. Though numbers yung content, display raman siya. So, string lang gina siya. That's one advice. Ang employee ID kay mag-base ng tag int kay... Kuan man, uh, we need to generate mga good. We need to generate. And ang pag-generate na to is natin ginatawag na auto-increment. Kay ikaw, kung pag-register ni mo sa SSC, ikaw din magbuot sa imong employee ID. Ay, sa imong student ID. So, ang gibuhat sa SSC kay pag-enroll sa inyong name, gikuha ang pinakalast niya ID, giplasan rag 1. So, kinahanglan ng calculation. Nakagets mo? Oh, kana mag-increment na. Mo na gingon auto increment AI na siya sa ato ang database. That's what we call auto increment. And then unsa on pag string sa contact? Automatic naman na, ah, 'di ba? Nga ni ka Oh, mag-get text ra man Pero nasa tayo part nga kung integer kung in case lang nga na integer ninyo Pwede naman sa siya, but mo lagi, uh, wala man siya nagamit for calculation, so it's useless or gapon. So as much as possible, string lang yun siya. And uh, at that then karon is na mga tao, no, nga, na mga mag mag-create yung database nga, ilaradyad ng i-uniform ang value, pila ka book masood, but I don't really recommend you doing this. As much as possible, no, kay i-concise gin nato ang pila ka buo characters ang masud sa usa ka data nato say for example sa name wala man sa siguro yung name no nga malapas o uh, 30 ba or kids may pin ha <laughs> sige ato na lang taga ako ang taga natog chance pero si age na di age nga maabot og ana and i don't uh, this is also one thing, no, this is koan, uh, dili dito sa kumurecommend nga age atong ibotang because age is not a static value. When we say age, that's, it, it's gradually changing every year. So, kung sa inyong ika-recommend atong iilis ni age? Ha? Na ano mo dyan na year, magkuha man dyan na that get year. Naman tayo function na na in all program na to. Uh, well, in that case, kay <laughs> yes, it might work. <laughs> Pero, yes, na mag-count siya, diba? Tasa days and na, diba? So, atong buha to na ni, atong kwa on is the? Kailan mo, ano yung wala? Oh, humo na atong kwa on. See, date of birth kay based from the date of birth. Pwede naman na na to makuha ang makuha ang age sa usa ka tao. ba? Kaya naman tayo calculation na na. Current uh, birthday minus ay uh, current year minus date of birth. So, that's his age. Kuha ra? So, wala man siguro yung age. Mga buto ko So, 15 lang. Address. Okay, I give that 50 and then sa kuha 20. Hinga na. And there... Ah, sa akin 50? Kuan ka ng pila ka characters? Masud. Diri na siya makita. Asa man ta ni i-define? Ari ni na to i-define. Ari ni na to i-define. 
Uh, wait. Asa naman to? Ay, tara. Land and values. So, okay. Sa so, MPID, di ba? Integer. So, integer lang sa dayahang data type. Si emp name kay string man. So, unsay gamito na to. Wala man siguro yung string dere. So, na string dere. Ang gamito na to dere is what we call kani the varchar. So, this is equivalent to string sa database niya sa or sa kaning uh, DBMS na to. So, since age, age is also, ay, wala na day age, date of birth. Okay, unsay ko na ning date of birth. Unsay, unsay data type. Unsay data type sa date of birth. Ha? Huh? Integer? String, yes. String, gapon na siya. Firechar. Wow. For char, and then we have address. That's var car, var char, var char, and then we have contact. That's also a var char. And then there, 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 there. You can put the values. So okay, so si ID is 20, si name is that's 50, si date of birth that's 15, si address that's 50, and then si contact that's 20. And here, uh, collation, I ignore lang sa ini. Kaning koan, default is, when you set a default value, say for example, no, unsa may mga data nga na anay default value. Uh, say for example, the... Kanang butangan ninyo yung default value ba? If wala gi-input ang koan, if wala gi-input ang koan nga, nga data is, ka, pwede ra ka mo define on sa default value, ana. Or null lang siya. Null value. That means, sa kayo pasabutan ng null? Naanay sud, wala. Naay sud, pero null. And null is equivalent to zero. When we say null, naanay siya sud, pero wala yung sud. Kagit, <laughs> kagit mo. <laughs> Moging... Oh yes, naanay siya sud, pero equivalent to zero, or gapon na siya, or empty value. Oh, kana. <laughs> but in this case kay inan lang na nato sa depende ra gyud na ninyo. Pwede ra sad gali kanyo as defined say for example ang inyong default ID is ay ana jud ang uban no kay sa password na nila ang ilahang default no as defined ibutang na nila 1234 and then ikalag in sa user, it change pa din sa user. Mga default ba nga mga value. Oh, murag ka ng mga nikalag in ninyo. Nana siya mga default niya. I-change pass lang ninyo. So, pari ani. Nan lang sa... And then, collation. Uh, ayaw lang ni. Kay gi-define naman tani siya katong pag-create nato sa database. Attributes. Ayaw lang sad na ninyo i-mind sa... Kay kita rin mo define na na later. And then... Uh, asa pa man ani. Uh, Nakalimot na ko asa tong primary key definition na to. And then, uh, tara, sa index, uh, na, later on, I will be discussing you what is a primary key and what is a uh, foreign key, composite key, and a non-key variables. So, in this case, kay ID will be our, ID will be the primary key. So, a primary na to siya, dayon, go. So, atong, nga nung primary, sir? Nay, mga tanaw, wala. Nay, mga tanaw, wala. Unsay primary. Wala, you're curious. <laughs> Not na. So, ang primary key is, kana siya, that's something that would identify uniquely a record. So, that, that, con, that allows us to avoid redundancy of a certain data or certain value of a certain uh, instance sa ato ang data. Later on, ma-discuss ta na. So, ay kabala ka. Ako na siya siyang giset as primary key. And, kaning AI, this is what we call auto-increment. Auto-increment because uh, ako siyang i-auto-increment kaya ganahan ko nga, nika-save na ko sa sa data kay nika-next save is mag-plus 1 na lang siya, mag-plus 2, mag-plus 3. And I think that's it uh, for this koan. Ay lang sa ninyong i-mind ang uban. So, take note that inyong hilabtan is the name, the type, the value, or the length the default 
if na may default and then the kaninal kaninal in kung inyo ning i-check that means is that uh what's pasabot ani bali man siguro ang pasabot ani kung inyo ning i-check is uh your program or your database would accept null values so in this case kay di man ko ganahan nga nay values sa akong cell because that this uh that again that is against the rule of the first normal form because all cells on your table must have data in it so later on ana sa normalization nga na but later on na ari sa ta focus sa ta ni and kani ai or the auto increment and after that na define na nato tanan and then that's the time nga pwede na nato siya i-save and the save button can be found here at the top most i top most at the bottom the the bottom most so save rin and did it so and okay you have now your first so there are two views nga pwede ninyo tanawon ang browse so kani sa browse katultol lang mo sa browse wala so sa browse makita ninyo ang data nga gipang save ninyo sa structure will be the structure of your table na you see this key that means that this is a primary key sa atong table and then katong ganina if namoy sa yop you can still change it man said you can delete it through here nara man dili drop this one uh, rename this one change this one so uh, don't worry of making mistake because ma edit ra man gihapon nato siya kagets ra hoy uh. <laughs> so, sige lang, i-replay lang ninyo later. And then, uh, here, going back. So, karon naka-define na ta sa atong entity name. Kitsa ka ang entity dere? Yung sagi, entity name na to dere? Si? Si employee. And then, our attributes would be MID, name, DOB, address, and then the contact. So, okay. And then, Wala pa tayo relation. Uh, Mag-create relation later. Or relationship between the entity to entity. So, let's save that for later. And then, when we say relationship, di, it's, it should be a verb phrase. So, we say verb phrase, it should be something. You know what's verb? It's an action word. So, it's something that it should be verb phrase and the association between the instance of one of more entities. Blue car belongs to student Jack. So, asa ang relationship sa kaninga word? So, that belongs. So, the blue car belongs to... This must be Jack. And this relationship is what we call belongs to. And that's the relationship between the two entity. So, we have the entity object, which is car, and the entity uh, person, which is Jack. And the relationship is that the car belongs to Jack. And entity is a real world thing, either living or non living, that is easily recognizable and non recognizable. It may be a physical thing or simply a fact about the enterprise or an event that happens in the real world. An entity can be placed, person, object, event, or a concept which stores data in database. It must have an attribute and a unique key. Kato ganina, when we say unique key, is mo na siya, the primary key. This is the unique key. And we will, later on, we will know nga nung importante kayo nga na ay primary key, ang usaka table nga dependent or independent table mo na siya. And every entity is made up of some attributes which represents that entity. Okay, another mga examples. And then this is how you draw. This is how you draw uh, entity set. So your entity and the other entity. So the student, the entity student, and then the entity class, and the relationship between them. So based from this, okay, based from this, let me get that bit. Uh, snip, 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 snipping time. Uh, okay, let me copy this and then, okay, can you? What do you think will be the most, the most, or the candidate? What would be the possible attributes for this one? 
Kung mga possible attributes dere sa student gaya ko gamay so we have the SID oops the the student name and the uh, S uh, course and then ID and ID number that's the same ha? and then we can now add a foreign key. So, butangan lang tani siya. Uh, Dere gamay. Let me do some... Agay, di na po ma... Edit! Bla, di na siya ma-edit. Kaya sa... Let me cut this. And then, let's extend this. Para taas-taas tag space. Then, paste... Para taas-taas ba? Ang saan ni pagtuyok? Di naman ni matuyok eh. Ay, basta. Basta na na siya ikuha na. So, kamo na ikuha na na. So, karun. Uh, let's define the attributes. So... Uh, so the first ato uh, koan is PK or the primary key. So this will be the student ID, and later on we will have foreign key. So the foreign key kung the foreign key will be the uh, class ID, class ID, and then the mga normal attributes nato will be ay ay okay. And then we have here, uh, di ba katong name? This is the normal attributes na name, uh, course, I mean, age, and then address. Okay, so sa class, what do you think will be the candidate key or sa mga so mga possible na to dere? Sa class. Butang. <laughs> Butang president. <laughs> Uy. <laughs> Uy, magkatawa ko sa president. Uy, di namang elementary ka. <laughs> Mayor lang. <laughs> Uy, ang kanina class, ang pasabot ani kay Dili ni. <laughs> Kaya sa mga tao, Dili. <laughs> But... <laughs> When we say class, ah, kay... Say for example, nga na to, kani, class ID. Class ID will be the par the primary key in this. So, class ID. And we have here, uh, unsa pa may mga ko under eh. Ino na to, course, ay unsay class, course title lani. Ay sige, lisa na lang tani og term B para di mo maglibog. Tang-tangon tani class. Ilisan tani og course. Is Anthony of course, and then course. Okay, so this is the course entity. So, so course niyo, what will be the what do you think would be the best, uh, the best attributes? So, let's assume na siya ang natay primary key there nga uh, course ID. Or course code lang, pinaka the best one. Course code. And then, uh, we have here, unsa man? Unsa may laing attributes? Yes, the description. Uh, and then, okay, so kana lang sa, that could do. And then, we can change this into, can you, we can, uh, we can change this. Uh, We can change this into this. The foreign key would be the disc, the course code. Sir, ganong na foreign key man siya, sir. Kay later on, we need to use mangod. We need to use uh, we need to use 
something out from this table para makonnect silang duha. We need something nga uh, nganong nga makaingon tanga na ay relationship sa duha ka table. So kani, what do you think will be the best description or the best relationship that you can describe? Kana. Unsa yung pinaka best dis- uh, uh, kuan ana? Description. Gay ko yung relationship. Student Unsa man? belongs angay ba ang belongs or a student enrolls diba enrolls so it's still a verb uh, enrolls on a course and that's the time nga pwede na ninyo butangan og business rule or a description uh, and then this cardinality that means this is one later on magdiskus na a student uh, enrolls into many course and you know na you know na what's the work of this cardinality so sa kaninga cardinality mao ni giingon nga many and kaninga cardinality this is one one to many so this is one to many nga cardinality so that one student can enroll into many course Kako amo wala. Hoy. Kasabot ha. Hoy, panubog mo si Merlin ray nakakuha. Pag sorry ya buok. <laughs> so okay, and then let's proceed. Okay, an entity seat is a an entity set is a group of similar kind of entities. It may contain entities with attributes sharing similar values and are represented by their properties, which is also called attributes. All attributes have their separate values. Say, for example, a student entity may have name, age, class as attribute. So that's an entity set. So, okay, relationship. I think we are clear with the idea of having relationship. So, pareha ani. Uh, Tom works in the chemistry department. So, one Tom can work on a chemistry department. Entities take part in relationship. We can often identify relationships with verbs or verb phrases. And attribute. So, I think we're very clear with attribute. So, attribute is something that describes the entity. So, entity, attributes, attributes will describe the entity, and attributes is part of the entity. Okay, and then, it is a single-valued property of either an entity type or a relationship type. Say, for example, a lecture might have attributes. Ah, uh, sige, kanang lecture na to nga entity, pwede na siya time, kanus ang time sa lecture. Kanus, uh, unsang adlaw ang lecture, pila ka oras ang lecture, o asa i-held ang lecture, or ang klase. And attribute in ERD diagram is represented by an ellipse. Uh, when ER diagram no kay, I don't really recommend using the old one. This is the old version on how you identify a kuan good. Say for example, I'll be looking for that. Day. Say for example, kani. Uh, this is the old version on how you identify entity in which this is very samuk jugayo and I don't really recommend you doing this. As a matter of example, uh, here. So, kani. Uh, snip na sada, new. So, this is the old way on how you how you create or identify attribute, which is for me is. Samok, what if daghan kay attribute? So daghan kay nag ana ana dere? Lingin lingin, so mura na nuni siya kung sana ni siya. Daghan kay lingin lingin. So akong ganahan yun is katong pinaing ani ragid. Nga you define your attributes here and your entity is here. Attribute is here. So yung ana, yung ana lang atong style ha, pina cod f or pina pet petarchin design. Katong pinaing ani lang. Kano, kano pinayang ane lang. Uh, limpio lang siya. And then, 
Oh, attributes, relationships. So, not other. Eh? There are different types of attributes. So, the simple attributes can't be divided any further. For example, a student's contact number is also called an atomic attribute or an atomic value. So, it it is possible to break down composite attribute. For example, student's full name may be further divided into first name, second name, and last name. So, when we say a simple attribute is... It's an attribute nga dili na mabungkag pa. Uh, say for example, ang age, what do you think? Age is age a simple attribute or dili? Ha? Huh? Ma-divide pa ba ta ng age nga data? What do you think? It can still be divided, you know. We can have birth date from that the date the year the month so it's not a simple attribute how about first name is first name or last name lang is last name a simple attribute or not because it cannot be further divided so that's a simple attribute and the composite attribute is ma divide pa so when we say full name so a full name is composed of first name middle name and then last name so it can still be divided pa and when we say derive attribute uh, it does not include the physical database however their values are derived from other attributes present in the database say for example age should not be stored directly uh, yes that's one thing uh, derive attribute age is a derived attribute because <laughs> Dili mo na nato pwede save dito so ang age ko. Okay, as I have said, diba, nga, age is not a constant value. It's gradually changing. So, uh, instead of saving age, we save the date of birth. Because date of birth itself is the root of our age. So, yun nga, na, derive ra ang atong age based sa atong date of birth. And there are, so, there are a lot of data, uh, dagang maghapon nga mga data, ang derived attributes siya. Say for example, unsa pa may mga derived attribute. Aside from age, that's gikan ra sa date of birth. Middle initial, that's a derived attribute. So middle initial, gikan ra na sa imong middle name. Because middle initial kay usa ra ra maraka letter. So middle name is the full value and middle initial is also only a derived from the full name. Ngayon na and multi multi valued uh, it can have more than one values so say for example a student can have more than one mobile number or email address so ayan na multi valued attribute so kanin mo din mga problema nga mo arise later on no, when we create our database design good and normalization uh, we need to quench this we need to identify this and to make sure nga we can update this and won't change or won't create anomalies sa atong whole database design. Uh, later on, you would understand that on how to make that thing work. But current is, let's proceed to cardinality. So there are different types of cardinalities. So uh, when we say cardinalities, uh, it defines the numerical attributes of the relationship between two entities. So the different types of cardinalities relationship are one-to-one. -one, one to many, many to one, and many to many, which leads us to this. So, tara. A mandatory one, one and only one. This can be read as one and only one or mandatory one. One or many, mandatory many, and then optional one, zero or one, zero or many. So, ana lang, uh, do not be confused with this. Once gali naka triangular na siya, tulo ka buok, that's many. Kung usara, that's single or one. Nya kung kani is optional or zero. Zero or one. So, kani, why do we define cardinality sa ato ang attribute? Is because, kuan man, uh, uh, we need to know man of how much data is going to be flow between these two entities that we have. So, say for example, uh, one to one. Uh, one entity from entity X can be associated. Kani, let me cut this for you. Last slide naman din yung cardinality. So, ako na naisumpay later. So, parehaan eh. Uh, one to one entity or one entity from entity set X can be associated with the most one entity of 
set y and vice versa so when we say one to one so one student can have registered for numerous courses however all those courses have a single line back to that one student so what does it mean so say for example come on a student uh, you can enroll into uh, a single course but you can also enroll into many courses but a course can give only one topic to you which is related to that certain course mabito na uh, mandatory one dyan na ang pagpadung sa course and then padung balik is not na mandatory because a course can give a lot back to you so one to one relationship and then we have uh, one to many one to many which is wait let me cut this na sa tara no and the tara yay tara one to many so one entity can from entity set x can be associated with multiple entities of entity set y but an entity from entity set y can be associated with at least one entity so gikan dere so gikan dere padong dito we can have multiple entities we can have multiple class in one in one student but going back into student only one student can uh, can be go back or one entity student can feed back to a single class but the idea here is it's not the value that we are sending but the idea of having the entity because you see uh, many students can be enrolled in that certain class so you gonna or that certain course so that's one to many uh, relationship that's how you draw cardinality and many to one uh, many to one is tara the bali the the inverted form sa ganina so the student uh, many student belong to the same class so that's what i was talking about so uh, many student belongs to the same class and then more than one entity from entity x can be associated with at most one entity of entity set y However, an entity set from entity set Y may or may not be associated with more than one entity from entity set X. Yeah. Okay? So, later on, uh, dili lang sa kaita mo focus sa cardinality. Okay? I will be giving you activity that you need to create your own attributes. And uh, I won't be so much focusing sa kaning cardinality pa. But I want to focus on the, kuan, kani, the relationship. So, uh, I want you to find the proper description for a certain entity group. Okay? And I will be uh, displaying that certain activity sa itong Google Classroom later. So, uh, kuan lang ta, uh, uh, paabot lang ta sa Google Classroom. And the set of instructions that I'll be giving you on how to do the exercise. I hope I am very clear sa ninyo. Hoy. Kasi na bodra na. Kaya yot sa ha. I'm still checking things. So, okay, uh, getting back here. Uh, sa ato ang kuan database. Wait, sa uh, let me do this. So, kani, uh, say for example, no, uh, how to kanida yun sa di ng SQL and how to insert data di ay dari. So, sa atong pamaagi, no, kay, let's say for example, I want you to familiarize this and let's create a query based from this. So, okay, we have now set of queries here. So, uh, namo tayo mga queries that would allow us to insert or dokoan 
to update, delete a table. So in these cases, uh, later on which mag-create sa taog new sa nato nga mag-create sa taog new nato nga table. So remember ha, a database can have multiple table. But sa sa usa ka database and we cannot have daghan nga database usa ka program usa ra na ka database but it's composed with a lot of tables and that table is representing an entity okay so kan say for example mag create ta og uh, department there department okay and then ah uh, no 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 the name of this table will be department department and then we have here the dep name or id lang Doon. Month name. Ano lang. And then, duha lang. Doon. This is an integer. This is a var char. And 20. This is 50. And this is auto increment. Because that's a primary key. And then, I don't accept null. And then, let's save that. So now we have two. We have now two. We have now two tables. Table structure. So our testing DB. So the structure we have now two, two tables. And then, uh, let's see this. So our employee structure and then relational relation view and. Okay, so first, let me go back to employee. And then remember that an employee must have a department one because he he needs to be, uh, he needs to be belong, he needs to be belong on a certain department. So we can add now, or mag-add tago sa column, which is after sa amp ID. After amp ID, and then go, and then name na to siya, oh, depth ID, int, and 20. Save. And then browse balik at to ta sa ato ang structure sa ato ang employee relation relational view column dap ID database testing DB table department and column department ID and then preview SQL close save and relational view. And then Wait, let us ah, to make it an hour. Let me Triggers? No, no, no. Operation delete sad. Nakalimut ko asa to make it an So let's click this database and then. Let's see the ah, other the designer view. So tara, say for example, ganina gi connect na to ang ato ang ang ato ang employee nga table sa ato ang department nga nga table. So current is the foreign key here will be the department ID basing from the uh, foreign key of the department. So, who do you think, based from these two table, kinsa ang dependent o kinsa ang independent table? Asa ang dependent table ani? Dependent sa una, sige. The dependent table. Asa ang dependent table ani? Based sa inyong hunch. Hey. Wala. When we say dependent table is, kana nga table is, uh, dili na siya ka-stand as iyahang kaugalingon. So, nagsalig sa siya sa ka-table. So, asa ang dependent table? Ano eh? Sige, hapit na noon ito, mahuman. Ang dependent. 
because you see employee uh cannot work on his own cannot be complete on his own without department id okay you see kung employee ka you need to know asa ka nga department asa ka nga position mo but department alone can stand for itself Diba nga ako, dep ID na ako is 101 and then department name na ko is I am for engineers, I am for IT, I am for for HRs. So, yung ana lang nga uh, we need to identify ba the relationship between so dili lang sa logical view nga maka-create ag relationship but also diri sa atong physical view. We can also create relationship through connecting tables uh through view. So later on atutong i-discuss uh, thoroughly on how to connect tables sa logic sa physical form na to or sa physical view na to. Okay? So, I hope we're very clear na. Okay, later on, maghatag ko na yung activity. Any question? Wala na? Hoy, settle na ta? <laughs> so, Merlin, nagkito sa dyan, tere rin ay. Or, basin, cellphone at sa nagkipas ko ilan yung uban. Ha? So, sa honda ni Biko. Cellphone rin yung eskwila? Ay, wala. Cellphone rin yung eskwila. Rodney. Ah, yatira. Pinggol. Ah, oh, nari ay. Alvarado, buok. Cellphone rin yung eskwila? Justin or Cardenas. Naamo rin yung wala. Sapio, ano dito? Sapio. So cute dito ni. Ah, buhi pa rin. Sapio rin ay. Kani o Galmendras. Buhi pa mo rin ha? Merlan Kavan. Karay kanis Kavan o. Nara rin ay. Parahe suglas po niya. Kani, naminaw ni sila. Naminaw baka ni. Ah, nara rin ay sila po niya. So, I hope we're very clear, huh? and then I'll be giving you the exercise later sa yung Google Classroom. So, thank you. And see you when I see you. Nakalimot ko. Ikuan to ninyo ba? Ipangsuwat inyong, isuwat to inyong email sa katong akong gihatag para masend na ko na ninyo. Kay, dili ko kasend, basta dili kumplito ang email. Kapag kaya usa-usa, ganaan ko tingob. Naagay ko yung gigamit nga program para masend it sa tanan niya. Di man mo send kung dili kompleta. Sige, ako na-send nyo ron. Sige, kalma lang mo. Sige, thank you. Puyo tayo.